Um, a few people have asked about this MZNH1 dock mod I've done where I've added a USB port. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video to show how you can take the docked pieces in case anybody else wants to try and do the same thing. Um, what, what you need is a, a small crosshead Phillips screwdriver and something to um, pry the case apart where there's a clip. Uh, I used a thin screwdriver but in hindsight I probably should have used something like a, a guitar pick. Um, so I'll, sh I'll show you that. Here's where I've added the USB port. I've filed away part of the plastic to let the port poke through. Um, there are two screws and then just here is a tiny little clip that pokes out of this light grey part and goes into a little cavity in the silver painted part. So I poke something in in here to uh, release it because this light silver part needs to slide out straight. You can't pivot it out. So I'll just take it apart and show you what's what it's like inside. those screws somewhere safe and then like I say get something in in here and you try and lift that out at the same time as you try and lift it up from this end and there's not really a lot to grab onto but what I did was actually I think I used some twe tweezers or something like this and kind of pushed inside here but one way or another I mean it's, it's more easy for me now I've got this here but um, you need to push this out like that eventually you'll see something appear there where you can slide slide something in that makes it slightly easier and you shouldn't need to force anything other than the clip that used to be there, but as I say, in hindsight, I should have used something a bit um, less damaging. So I've removed the clip, so it's much easier to remove now. So the whole thing slides straight out. And there's two loose bits, which are the, the button to release the, the recorder and a little um, seesaw which lets the button move the release catch and here's the board with the mod PCB already in place to get access to that to solder it you need to get this cable out of the way and to do that you need to unscrew this board here, uh, one of the screws is hidden. So to get to that, you need to remove this part. And that's held in place just here and here. So what I did was I bent this ever so slightly out of the way with my finger. Um, but first, sorry, it's not very coherent, but <laughs> first you need to um, pop this spring off, otherwise it's difficult to remove the plastic part. So, oh, I can lift it up like this. I'm struggling to do this whilst filming on the phone, but hopefully you can see lifting it up and moving it out of the way like that now this can freely move because the springs out of the way and then 
This is probably the riskiest part because it's brittle plastic. But I can't really show on camera, but push this out of the way. It's a lot easier with your fingers because you can feel when it's about to go. So you should be better with your fingers on that rather than the tweezers. And now that's out of the way. So next part is to lift this cable out from behind the yellow connector. Then you can move this up over there. And you can gain access to the screw. So before you take them off, just watch. There's two springs underneath the board, so you need to make sure they don't ping off. So another two screws to keep safe. And that comes off. Okay, I'm going to put the screws there as well, the springs there as well. Try not to let them ping off. Now the the board will. Um, it's held in place by a couple of lips on this side, so it will swing up like this. Um, but the thing that's holding it in place is that spring from earlier on, that little piece of metal there. So you may just have to use some tweezers to hold that out of the way whilst you lift the board out. Try and do this on the camera. You can probably see just there where the metal goes over the PCB. So if you just push that out of the way, you can lift the PCB out. Holding it out of the way now, and you can see that it starts to lift out. And that's it fully fully disassembled. I can do some more high res photos of this, but you basically here have a um, an unpopulated USB connector pad, and you just remove the solder that's on there, place this PCB on and uh, sold it in place and then do the reverse you can also use a USB cable you can chop the end off and solder the wires directly on but I couldn't really figure out a way of doing this um, and having some strain relief there's not really much space inside there so that's why I decided to go with a custom USB um, board route yeah hope for that hope that's uh, some help to people who want to try and do this mod. Thanks for watching. Uh, when I first took the dock apart I realised the the button and the little seesaw component fell out so I'll show you where they go. So I've put the PCB back in and uh, just goes back in the same way it came out um, and then put this piece back on. Just be very careful with this. Um, so put it in one side And then just slowly push that in until it clips into place. Like that. As long as you're careful with it, it should be fine. And then we have to hook that spring back on. So I'll get my tweezers. Lift the spring up. Hook it on there. And then the next piece is the seesaw thing. Um, 
it goes this way with um, that kind of cup shape end goes underneath here. So it's not really held in place by anything other than gravity here, so that's why it falls out easily. But that's how that mechanism works. And then this has to go one way or the other. It can't it can't go both ways. Uh, you see how it's got a little cut out there. So the the longer piece goes on the outside and then it slides down this little slot here. So when you reassemble it you have to bring this down on top so the bits don't fall out. Um, yeah, so it might take a little bit of fiddling around to get it to line up, but it should line up and then you just push it down properly into place. Of course, after you've filed a big enough slot for that to go into. Um, because the PCB itself interferes with the case, not just the USB connector, I filed an angle bit here to clear the USB. And yeah, so it screws back in and that's it.